Have you ever thought on the day of judgment how your actions will be weighed? The narration seemed to indicate for different individuals the method will be different. The famous hadith, hadith of Bataqa, where a man will come and he will have 99 scrolls of evil deeds as far as the eye can see and he will have nothing on his good deeds so he will be dragged to the fire of Jahannam and then all of a sudden there will angels will be told to stop bring him back and they will bring a bataka a little note and that little note will be placed on his right hand scale and the right hand scale will be heavier than his 99 scrolls of evil deeds what will that one note have on it it will have La ilaha illallah. Why one note is heavier than 99 scrolls of evil deeds? Because this individual, when he recited La ilaha illallah, it was with so much ikhlas. This could have been a person who may not have known much about religion, like you often have in places where there is not much education. But these individuals, they love Allah. They love Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If the commands had come to them, if they were taught, they would have acted upon all the commands. Other narrations indicate towards the fact that the person himself will be weighed. The narration in Sahih Muslim that a man will be bought. This man will be Rajulun Azimun Saminun, a fat individual, a large individual, and he will be placed in the scale. And the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he will be lighter than a mosquito's wing. Why? This person had no good in him. This person had no Iman. On the other hand, one day the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was with the companions and Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu is climbing the tree and he climbed the tree and his shins are exposed. And Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu anhu, whose shins were very thin. And the Sahaba radiallahu anhu began to laugh. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, What is making you laugh? They said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, the thin shins of Abdullah bin Masood. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Let me tell you, on the day of judgment, if the thin shins of Abdullah bin Mas'ud were placed on one side of the scale and the mountain of Uhud was placed on the other side of the scale, the thin shins of Abdullah bin Mas'ud would be heavier than the mountain of Uhud. Other narrations indicate towards the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the actions a physical form and then they will be weighed. What is the heaviest thing that you will have on your scales on the day of judgment. The message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that thing which is the heaviest on the day of judgment, مَا شَيْءٌ أَثْقَلُ فِي الْمِذَانِ الْمُؤْمِنِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ خُلُقٍ حَسَنٍ There is nothing which will be heavier on the scales on the day of judgment than good manners. Something that we might not even take into consideration, but that will be the heaviest thing on the day of judgment. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, on that day when every individual will want to be with the Messenger of Allah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that person who has the best character will be the closest to me. Everybody will be running to be with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Messenger of Allah saying, this person who had good manners, good character, he will be the closest individual to me. Other things which will be heavy in the scales will be as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Alhamdulillah. He said, Alhamdulillah tamla ul mizan. By just reciting Alhamdulillah, the scales will fill up. Another thing which will be heavy on the day of judgment is mentioned in the final hadith in Sahih al Bukhari. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kalimatani khafifatani al lisan, thaqilatani fil mizan. Habibatani ila Rahman, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al Azim. That two words, two sentences, which are light on the tongue, heavy on the state, and beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al Azim.